guys it's your boy nintendo Wars here back with another rolling video and today i will be teaching you guys how to use how to play your ps4 games on your pc laptop or mac so i'm going to be showing you guys how to play it you can use your own playstation dual sh um you can use your own playstation controller and um yeah let's get right into it so first what you want to do is you want to go and click the link in the description it's going to take you to ps4 remote play so this works on any monitor, any laptop, sorry for the background news, any laptop, monitor, Mac. So I'm using my laptop and you, what you're going to do is you're going to click Windows for PC or Mac and basically it's going to download to your desktop here and basically you want right, to double click on it and basically install it and it should look like this. Second, what you want to do is you want to click it open. It's going to load up and it's going to check for an update or anything like that you must update ps okay it's going to update maybe it's not going to update for you guys so it's going to quickly update there it is it's done so it's going to take a long time and yes you want you do want to make changes and there you go it's it's already and updated and i and um, while that's installing, I'm gonna be showing you guys what you guys have to do on your PlayStation. So this is how it's gonna look like when you have to set it up. I'm gonna click next. I accept. Click next. Yep, that's what it's called. Install. And it's basically installing. So while that is installing, guys, I'm gonna be showing you guys what you guys have to do on your own PlayStation because you must have a PlayStation for this. You have to, I'll, I'll be showing you guys what you have to do on your PlayStation to make sure that you are good to play on any of these devices. Let's hop right into it. All right, guys, on your PlayStation, PlayStation, what you want to be doing is you want to be going to enter settings. You want to go to PlayStation Network and Management. You also want to sign in. I'm gonna update later. Update now. Alright, I guess I'll see you guys when it's an updating. Alright, guys, on your PlayStation, what you guys want to be doing is you want to be signing into your PlayStation account. I'm signing as my brother's because he has PlayStation Plus. Alright, what you want to be doing is you want to go all, all the way into settings. You want to go to, well, I guess since the update they changed it a little bit, but you want to go to account management. You want to go to link with oh you want to set it at you want to set this as the you want to activate this as the primary ps4 if it looks like this that means you're all ready to go so also what you want to be doing is you want to be going into remote play connection settings and then you want to make sure that these two are checked on Alright guys, what you guys also want to be doing is you want to be going all the way down to power save settings. You want to go to where it says set features available and rest mode. You want to make sure stay connected to the internet is turned on. And after all that stuff is done, you are ready to go to back to the computer and connect this to your laptop, monitor, or Mac. Let's do it guys. Alright guys, we're in PS4 remote play. Alright, what you guys want to be doing is you want to take your PlayStation DualShock controller, any controller works. You want to take the the USB port, plug it in. Alright guys, your PlayStation controller should be looking like this. It's connected in. That. And putting the thing in rest mode, stay connected to the internet in rest mode, means if your PlayStation is still in rest mode, you can still play here. So once your PlayStation is set up, your controller setup, you want to go into PS4 Remote Play. Alright, we have our con controller setup. The PlayStation has all the features we need. Alright. Press the option and the button to control to start. Alright, I pressed the option. So you must have internet for this. I guess it recognized the controller. I guess it's going to make me sign in or some shit like that. Alright. Let me do that real quick. 
All right, guys, I just signed in. It's going to be searching for the PS4, which should be on in your house. All right. All right. Let me do that real quick. All right, guys, I just signed in. It's going to be searching for the PS4, which should be on in your house. All right, guys, so it's basically loading. It's going to search for the PS4. My PS4 got a notification that it's being searched. But my internet is crappy. I need to get a new router. I will be getting a new router soon. But after this, if you have good internet and everything's good, that means your PlayStation screen should pop up, and you can you can, you can just put your PlayStation in rest mode and just play on your laptop, and um, you can easily re you get a screen recorder like me, and you can easily make videos and play on your laptop. So. There's an icon on my on my PlayStation saying that it's currently being looked, but my internet's crappy, so it's gonna say it's not working. So, but if your internet's good, your PlayStation sh screen should pop should pop up, and you can just play it on your laptop with your controller. So, yeah, I'm sorry I couldn't actually show you guys that. Maybe I'll make a redo video once I get a new router in the future. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this long video. If, if this works for you guys, make sure to smash that like button, get good internet, be a Nintendo ruler, and um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and peace out.